Okay, let's come back to uh, look at the problem where the truck is accelerating. So the full question is that a small ball is hung from the ceiling in the truck uh, with a massless string, and the truck is accelerating with acceleration A towards the right direction, and the ball is making a constant angle theta with the vertical. Uh, you are asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration. To solve this problem, first let's think about the physics story. And uh, the ball is sort of having a gravitational force dragging down and also being uh, dragged by this tension exerted by the string uh, with an angle with the vertical. So the string, well, the tension of the string provides uh, two components. One is the vertical component, one is the horizontal component. The vertical component balances the mag. Uh, the gravitational force and the horizontal component uh, provides the uh, acceleration in the horizontal direction. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the free body diagram. To do this kind of problem, it's very important that you draw a clear and uh, nice free body diagram. All right. <laughs> First, you set up a coordinate system. Make sure that you choose the axis to be aligned with the major acceleration. The acceleration is towards your right, so I make the positive x to my right and uh, the vertical to be the y. So you see that the tension force is making a theta angle with the vertical. There are two forces, one is the tension, uh, one is the gravitational force. The next step is you want to separate the components of the tension according to the coordinate system. The vertical component is T cosine theta. You look at here, uh, it's kind of adjacent with this theta, so it's T cosine theta. And the horizontal component is opposite to the angle, so it's T sine theta. Once you have the uh, component separated, we can now apply this concept of sigma Fy, which is a net force in the vertical direction. Since the ball is not uh, accelerating up or down, so the sigma Fy, the net force in the y direction, would be zero. In the y direction, you will have T cosine theta in the up direction, so it's positive, and mg in the downward direction, so it's negative. So you will have t cosine theta minus mg equals 0. During the algebra, you will get t cosine theta equal to mg, which is t equal to mg divided by cosine theta. You basically divide the cosine theta over. All right, let's take a look at the horizontal component. From the vertical component, you find the t, and uh, we just leave it here for the moment. For the horizontal component, uh, we have sigma fx equal to t cosine theta. That's the only force acting on this ball. Therefore, that's the net force. So t sine theta is the net force, and that equal to ma. Therefore, the acceleration is equal to t sine theta divided by mass. Now you can plug in the t found from the vertical force uh, to this equation here. So you replace, you substitute the t with mg divided by cosine theta. You will get mg sine theta divided by m cosine theta, and you will end up with g tangent theta because sine theta divided by cosine theta is tangent theta. Taking g to be 10 meters per second square, and uh, you will get 10 multiplied tangent 33, and you will end up having uh, 5.77 meters per second square as your horizontal acceleration. Okay, 